Hello everyone, my name is Evelyn Cannell and today I'm going to be talking to you about undergraduate research. So first of all, who am I? My name is Evelyn Cannell. I, as previously said, I am studying marine biology at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi and this is my last year. I also am minoring in chemistry. I am a member of the Zhang Research Lab and I have been since my first year three years ago. That's me working on some samples in one of our fume hoods. So how do you get started in undergraduate research? Uh, how I got started was I listened during my classes. One, uh, one day during my general chemistry one class, my professor had one of his graduate students come in and talk about how she needed help doing sampling, as you can see in the picture. So I quickly reached out and emailed to her uh, saying that I was interested and that's how I got started. So my advice to you would be to listen during your classes, especially ones that is a subject you find interesting and see if they have any undergrads that need help. And then you could even email them yourselves and see if they're working on anything in their labs that you want to help work on. So what are some benefits? There are a lot, we'll go through them all. So one of the big ones for me was the LSAMP program, which is the Lewis Stokes for Alliance for Minority Participation in STEM. This program provided stipends for me to do research on my own kind of <laughs> under supervision. It provided contacts and information to help decide whether or not I wanted to go to grad school, where I should go, mentoring information for just generally figuring out how you want to go about your education career. It also gave me the ability to attend multiple research conferences, including SACNIS and the LSMRCE conference, both of which I actually participated in this year, which was really exciting for me. So the first year that I got to go to a conference, I actually got to go to Hawaii. So these are some pictures that I took while I was in Hawaii attending a national research conference. It was a great experience for me. I got to make lots of friends that were within my own field. I got to meet people who weren't in my field. I got to talk to people um, from Google, from 23andMe, from the FBI. It was a very good experience and you get to gain all of these understanding of people who may not ever have talked to you otherwise. So I highly recommend going to conferences if you have the opportunity to do so. And while most people probably will not get to go to Hawaii, your college or university will likely have small seminars and symposiums about different research. I remember some of the first conferences I went to were actually on campus at Texas A&M University. They had a marine biology symposium seminar thing and every Friday they'd have a different professor come and give a, confer a conference or a presentation about something that they've been working on and I found that really interesting and it helps you to develop what you want to work on so I highly recommend looking into those as well. So some other benefits uh, through the a and school system is called a DIS, Directed Independent Study. This allows you to participate in undergraduate research, gives you experience working as a team, and teaches you how to understand scientific papers, as well as giving you class credit while doing it. So I did this as well as being an LSAMP so that I could have elective credits while I was doing my research. So the, some other perks is that you get to work with projects that are funded by major corporations. Our lab, for example, is funded by the U.S. Science Foundation and other state agencies. Um, you can get good recommendation letters for scholarships or jobs from the professors that you work for and from the other, under, other graduate students who you will be working with closely. This is going to be very important for you, especially for me, as I am now applying for jobs and internship programs for postgraduate. You also get to learn how to use state-of-the-art instruments such as ion and gas chromatography, nutrient analyzers, depending on the lab you're in. I work in a, a environmental chemistry lab, so these are machines pertinent to what we work on, but you may work on other things such as PCR. It just depends on what you're interested in. So what is my research? I work on studying the stable amino acid nitrogen isotopes in coral skeletons to understand better nitrogen cycling in the past. This means that Within coral skeletons, they kind of grow like a tree, so they have rings, and within each ring, they have stored amino acids that they gathered while they were growing. So we take these rings separately and we analyze them to see how the nutrients change through time. This can indicate, was there a major weather event that year? How has climate change been affecting them? Those kinds of things. And while it's still being worked on, I did get to present my research at the SACNIS conference virtually this year, as well as the LSMRC. LSMRCE conference, which was also virtually. 
and you get to hear from other professors and learn how to better conduct yourself in a scientific manner, as well as being able to explain what you're working on, because it is important to know that research is a learning process. So you're never going to know everything exactly as it is. You might, but I find that unlikely. <laughs> you're going to have a big learning curve. You're going to need to take the time and be like, okay, what's working, what's not. As you can see in the bottom picture, we didn't, this was one of the first thing, or obstacles that we had working on my samples is that we added too much of one of our oxalic acid, as you can see in the top, and it was causing this massive clouding in our samples. So that was something we had to work on. It's because research is a constant back and forth. So that's something to keep in mind. So I wanted to thank you for giving me your time to learn about this. Undergraduate research is something that if you're interested in, it can be very beneficial to you. It can help you get jobs in the future. It can help you just have fun. It's a, it's a fun experience because you get to have hands-on experience working in science. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below of this video or yeah, thank you.